Hello gamers. My room's a mess. I'll fix that. A little, little announcement today. If you haven't seen it on uh, Twitter or you haven't seen it on my stream title, I will be competing in Apex Legends. <sighs> One goddamn more time, man. One more time for the boys. Boom. I'll, re I'll read it for you guys so you guys can you guys can get an idea. Alright. Looking for team for Challenger Circuit Split 2. If you guys don't know when that is, chat, that is on March 25th. So that is exactly in uh, 25 days. 20 days, days from now. Um, yes. 25 days. I'm, I have only a few days to look for a team, teammates, and sign up. But, I'll read it out loud. Hi everyone, uh, I am looking for teammates for Challenger Circuit Split 2. I want to start this tweet off talking about why I am competing again and why I quit to begin with. Uh, if you guys really know, uh, in my recent video on YouTube, I talk right. about what's been going on. Uh, what's been going on in the past, what's been going on in the present, and what's going to be going on in the future. Um, this talks about a lot of things. If you haven't watched this video, recommend you go watch it. Uh, this is what I've experienced in the past about three to four years of streaming. Why, uh, why I also quit competitive is also in this video, um, <sighs> and just in general. Recording. But wait, what? I also go into a little bit more detail in this tweet about you know. Stuff like that, and I can also kind of explain it verbally here on stream. But I recommend you watch this video if you haven't. If you don't want to watch it, all good. This is a pretty much a TODR. But yeah, uh, I talk about how my mental uh, my mental health was doing throughout my streaming career. I was going through depression and some really dark times. And honestly, uh, I can't give you really a reason why I was going like through those things and why I had that. You know. Depression sucks. You don't know why you have it. Um, I truly don't know. I truly don't know. I talked to people about it and I couldn't figure it out. I don't know if I had it because of competing. You know, right here it says, you know, I, I don't know if it was beca because of competing and it was because of the lack of performance uh, in my games. You know, I was, as a competitor, you win, you lose, you play bad as an individual, you aren't playing as good, you are playing good. You know, things just things are just crazy and I don't know if it was because of competing or if it's because of my streaming career maybe you know back then my numbers weren't as good as they are now you know maybe I was stressed out in my my fucking mind like I wanted to you know I wanted to be you know a bigger streamer I wanted more numbers I wanted to you know accomplish more things you know I have no idea but um or maybe I just had depression you know alone and well on uh, top of competing and streaming it was just also affecting so who knows um but yeah there's also things like people comparing me to others people saying how i wasn't fit to be an igl <clears throat> bronzy uh or pro you know being saying like i'm not a good pro player just pretty much doubting me everywhere i went you know people were constantly saying something about me you know um but yeah i first started when i uh i first started when i competed for golden gardens i made a lot of mistakes chat come on we know this all right like every tourney every game i made mistakes trust me i know golden griefers you know what i'm saying you know we we we, we made some inspirational griefs okay that they named us the golden griefers god damn i trust your idea true and that was, we were nuclear on the griefing you know but that was my first time competing and honestly being like any sort of gamer and like pro player in this industry like you know what what are you gonna expect from me like i had no experience in battle royales um or competition so really there's not much expectations for a player like me or my teammates who also didn't have that much experience as well and you know we had bad results constant grief things come on now uh Either way, I learned a lot and quit competing to pursue full-time streaming, but I didn't give up on competing though. Later in the future, I teamed up with Nicewig and Apreezy, Team Sheesh, we all know about Team Sheesh Poggers, uh, a streamer team, a four-fun team, nothing serious by the way, okay? 
It was just a bunch of lads just having some fun playing Apex Competitive. I didn't expect us to do as good as we did. We can't see place top 5 in GLL, ALJS qualifiers. Something we didn't really expect because we were just a streamer team having fun. Never scrimmed, never practiced, never played any other tourneys. As people in CS would say, a random pug team. Uh, we tried our best in every match, don't get me wrong in any way. We, we were- oh sorry. Yeah, we were trying our best in every match, don't get me wrong in any way. But we weren't trying to be a pro team. Because at the end of the day, I went to go do my own stream things, and so did they. That was just plain and simple. Um, after GG, I was fine to compete again as a pro player because that was just a learning experience in my timeline. I always had that competitive drive inside me, but after Team Sheesh, I didn't really want to compete anymore. Uh, not because of my teammates. I love Abrizi and Icewig. They were the GOATS chat. Love them. Fucking great people. Great teammates. Fucking everything. Okay. But it was just the feedback that I got from the entire community. They were like, we were literally a four fun team where if we didn't qualify or play good, it didn't, it shouldn't matter. Like, it didn't matter. Like, we, we weren't trying to be pro. We weren't trying to do, like, we weren't trying to win, if that makes sense. We were just having fun. And if we did win, oh, fuck, I'm down. You know what I mean? But uh, I, I constantly got shit on for like my play style and things that were and weren't my fault. And it negatively impacted my uh, mental health as someone who was just, not trying to make competing my everything. It was just for fun. So um, I think this like kind of ruined competing for me. And whether it was the negative feedback from the community or whether it was because I was going through depression, I was just unhappy, you know? And also not really a side note, uh, the reason why Team Sheesh quit, uh, I said this in the past, but you know, to talk about it a little bit more, uh, it was not solely due to one player. Jack had to leave because of family issues, and he already announced that on his Twitter and his stream in the past. Uh, although I did have sponsor obligations, and that's why I had to leave. You know, my depression was was probably at an all time low, and I was also just probably too afraid to really talk about it publicly. You know, I I didn't really talk about my 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 mental health or my issues and all that stuff on stream ever until recently. So. Seeing how it was even worse back then, I I I don't think I could have. I actually don't think I could have. Um, but yeah. Um, also, uh, I still could have played technically, uh, but we spoke as a team and we we made a decision as a team to just quit together. And also, you know, there's a lot of things people are saying like, oh, I, I already knew if I tweeted this out, people were gonna be like, oh, I hope your PC doesn't break again. But like I said it right here, I. I Prezi, he pretty much misspoke when he was in Hal's stream and he told Hal that I couldn't play because my pre seat broke. But, you know, like he just kind of just said it just because, you know, it was just like, oh, like easy to say. But that wasn't obviously the reason why. It was my streaming PC. I could have still played. I just obviously wouldn't be, be streaming it. But that wasn't the reason why I couldn't play and why, you know, we all couldn't play. Because to be honest, like, we didn't know when Jack would be back from his family issues because he had to go, you know, like, you know, go help his family. Like, we don't know when he's, that that was going to be resolved. So we didn't really know if it was like worth it to kind of play the rest of Pro League by like, like with a sub for fun, like for a fun team or with a for fun team, pretty much. Um, but yeah, as um, like moving on to the present though, uh, I'm finally in a good place in my life. Um, I talked about that in the video and I say that on stream. Uh, I'm ready to take on competing once again and give it everything I got. Yes, I will still be streaming and doing sponsors and, you know, doing my typical streams that, you know, you see me do. But I will do my best to practice, scrim, compete in tournaments, learn, grow, and improve as a player with my team. Um, so that, you know, VOD review, you know, everything. Even maybe getting a coach, you know, like, I don't know who would want to coach us, but go look into that, getting everything, you know, and try to be as good as a player as we can in team. So... Um, and yes, chat, I know you're going to be like, well, Timmy, you're fucking washed, man. Yeah, I get it. I get it, chat. I get it. I'm washed, but I'll be back. Trust me, okay? Um, I feel like now that I have a motivation, something to work for, I feel like somewhat of a purpose. And, you know, I think so, uh, something that was for me, I wanted to try to get 10k damage again. So, well... We moved about it yesterday or something like that, but fuck it. I have to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to announce that I will be competing once again uh, with Lyric as of right now. Um, me and Lyric, I've talked to him. 
and I've discussed it with him. I said this in the past that I do want to compete with Lyric. So me and him are going to try to compete and we're going to find a third looking for a controller player who can maybe IGL. If you can't IGL, then fuck it. I'll just run us down again like Golden Guardians. Like, holy fuck. But um, yeah, someone who could IGL, that'd be great. <laughs> but yeah, um, me and Lyric, controller player. And you know, I even said it to him and, I, and he said it to me. If things don't work out, let's say like, fuck, you know, he doesn't like me, he doesn't like how I'm playing, he doesn't think I'm good enough, and he wants to go find another teammate, I said, go for it. That's all good. No hard feelings. We're still going to be fucking boys at the end of the day. You know, the same thing goes vice versa, you know, and, but I believe in, I believe in him and he believes in me. So we're going to look for a third and, uh, yeah, but, but for my community, I, I have a little grammatical error, I think, for my community that who has always supported me throughout my uh, my comp competitive endeavors. Thank you. I will not let you down this time. TLDR, I'm back, motherfucker. Motherfucker. You're you're definitely will be seeing me fucking howling. Like, how did we lose that? Uh, you will definitely see that for sure. At least once, maybe twice. Like, dude! 